Well, good morning. It's me, Coach Rosa. I am back from my little retreat. I escaped for a week and it was awesome. Meditation and relaxation and maybe you saw my live video from Lilydale. Took you a little, just a short little uh, snapshot of where I was staying. So if you haven't caught that, uh, feel free to look at it. It's really nice. I mean, the place is nice. Uh, hey, Cindy, good morning. Thanks for joining. Hey, Lisa, good to see you, neighbor. Um, I, I, uh, I miss you. We got to get together around here. We need some Euchre tournaments, people. Hey, Joe, good to see you. Thanks for watching. So it's Back on Track Monday. You know, this summer, uh, people are probably having really nice weekends. I know I've enjoyed the weekends. I've had two vacations in a short period of time. It's easy to get off track. So what I want you to remember is every Monday, now don't use this as an excuse to blow the weekend. Don't do that. <laughs> every single Monday, I want you to think of, it's back on track Monday. So whatever happened Sunday, whatever happened Saturday, whatever happened Friday, you just put it behind you and you bulldoze forward and you stay focused on the rest of the week. So uh, I certainly had a great time uh, on my little time away and I, um, I was, for the most part, pretty good. Uh, I'll tell you my top three things I did that very much helped me to not gain weight. Another vacation where I didn't gain weight. So top three things that I think were helpful. First thing is I really did cut the sugar down to nothing. So, and here's my trick with the sugar, guys. When you need to say, all right, I'm not having sugar today, uh, don't think I'm not having sugar for the week. You'll stress yourself out, it's too much pressure, You'll, you'll go into deprivation mode. We don't want deprivation. You know, you want liberation. You want to feel like this is liberating. I'm making a choice. So one thing I did was no sugar. And when I do no sugar, I think of it at one meal at a time. So breakfast, sure, there's cookies. It's cheaper than breakfast. Good morning, Jill. Good to see you. Um, I, you just say just one meal at a time. I'm not going to have it right now. And you just play it that way. And then you get through one day and the next day. And it doesn't mean you're going to be perfect all the time, but it certainly minimizes the temptation for sugar. Hey, Karen, thanks for watching. Now, the second thing I did that was really, really helpful is I made sure I got over 10,000 steps in a day. My goal was 10,000 steps. I exceeded it. Some days I got 15,000 steps. Now that's more of a walking community, so it's not hard to do. Hey Marcy, thanks for joining, thanks for watching. Um, but because I was also on the third floor, I had to run up and down three flights of stairs, I made sure I added a couple of flights. By the end of the day, my legs were sore. <laughs> um, so that was another big key, and I really do believe um, that getting those steps in is gonna help you to stay on track. So, hey, that makes me realize, if you guys want some, you know, group on that or a little challenge on keeping your steps up and, and getting the, that movement in, let me know, drop me a comment. And uh, I've been thinking about doing something, you know, in addition to all the other stuff I do <laughs> to keep people just motivated about getting more steps in. Um, I also stuck to my gut health program too. That was very important. So I stuck, stuck, stuck with that and did not miss a day with taking my supplements and keeping my body um, filled with the good bacteria and helping to cleanse out the bad. Now the third thing I did is I, except for one day, only once, and there was one bad influence involved in that one, <laughs> um, and maybe another reason. Um, anyway, I ate after dinner. Typically I don't eat after dinner, especially when I'm vacationing. It's so easy to eat after dinner. So for the most part, like I said, all but one time, I did not eat after dinner was done. Those are very helpful tips. Now, Monday morning, even if the scale tipped a little bit, you cannot panic. You can't say, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Because you will then go into that, that cycle of remorse, where now you're depressed and you eat to feel better, and then you're depressed that you ate, and then the scale goes up, and then you're depressed you know where I'm going with this, right? You've got to snap out of it, people. Snap out of it. So what you want to do, Monday morning, brand new day, put yesterday behind you. Hey, Kathleen, thanks for watching. And you want to drink a lot of water. Get your six to eight ounce glasses, uh, six to eight glasses of water a day. Start Monday, two glasses of water right away. Just get them 
you know, just start off well. So even if you have eight ounces and then half a glass, you've got 12 ounces in, you're gonna help um, hydrate your body. You need to be hydrated. Now, the other thing I want you to do is I want you to, you know, really think about what you're putting in your body this day. You know, what's going on? So I have a, a shake I drink in the morning. That's gonna be my routine. Now, I go right back to my routine. Shake in the morning, salad, some protein for lunch. You know, I've got some snacks for vegetables. You wanna think about this. But now I also want you to bring your sneakers with you and get out there and go for a walk if you can. Go for a walk during lunchtime. Take the stairs a couple extra times. You gotta give your metabolism a couple boosts, right? The metabolism getting a boost is gonna help you burn more calories. So even if you just do a little, take the stairs twice, just out of the blue. You're walking around the building, you got a set of stairs, take the stairs instead of, you know, something else. And give your little, um, your metabolism a little jolt. You need to burn the extra carbohydrates that are stored in your body from the weekend. And what I always say is, it's in short-term parking right now, folks. That means you can burn it. You move around, you'll burn it. You let that sit around in your body for 72 hours, and guess what? Those extra carbs you didn't burn, guess where they're going? Long-term parking. Long-term parking, that is your hips, your butt, your gut, your stomach. It goes all over those places. Once it goes in the long-term parking, it takes a while to get it off. So you want to burn short-term parking. Walking will do it. A lot of things will do it. But just get back on track and get whatever you have laying around in the house, get it out of the house. Toss it out, bring it into someone else, <clears throat> just get rid of it. That is tempting to you. So um, you wanna just take care of that right away. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys have a great day. Terry, good to see you. Hi, honey. Um, I think, by the way, at the end of the day after my job, I think I'm gonna be on Channel 8. I'm not sure. I'm gonna find out because I know there's some media thing we have to participate in. If I'm going to do something, I'll put a note on Facebook to give you guys a heads up so you can catch it. It'll be on, you know, probably something more career coach related. My other life. So drop me a comment about the stepping thing if that's interesting to you and uh, share my video. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Get back on track. Give me a shout out. Let me know how you're doing. Love, love, love you guys. Oh, like my page, Mind Over Platter. So have a beautiful, beautiful day.